Okay, guys, now it is time to meet Team Arrow. Please welcome BuzzFeed's Jarrett Weiselman, who will take us through some pointed conversations with the Arrow cast and producers. Hi, guys. How are you? you I am so excited to be here that I'm dropping water because I am such a huge fan of the first show we have coming up tonight. Do we have other Arrow fans in Hall H right now? I think she's a fan. Anything to meet Ian Summerhalder, I swear. Um, okay, keep that applause going. We are gonna bring out the men and women behind Arrow right now. First up, Chief Creative Officer for DC Entertainment, Jeff Johns. Next up, executive producer Greg Berlanti. Star, Paul Blackthorne. Star, David Ramsey. A little lady by the name of Emily Bett Ricards. Oliver Queen himself, Stephen Amell. Give it up for Katie Cassidy. Keep it going, Willa Holland. Perhaps he's reformed, we don't know. John Barrowman. Next, we have executive producer, Wendy Murasal. Executive producer, Mark Guggenheim. And last, but by no means least, executive producer, Andrew Kreisberg. Guys, give it up for Team Arrow. All right, we're gonna jump right into this because time is limited and we have to talk about that suit, Stephen. That new suit is bomb. It is amazing. Jer How does I, don't know what, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that was not, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> what, how does it compare to the other suits you've worn? Um, well, first of all, we need to give credit to Maya Maney. Is that, I, don't, I may have pronounced her last name wrong. M-A-N-I, sorry. But um, she has made every single suit on our show since the original Arrow costume. And she's up in Vancouver right now. I hope she gets to see this. She's done such a bang up job. Everything that the producers, the creators, the writers, me, John asked her to do for the suit, uh, she did it and she nailed it. Do you guys like it? Good. <laughs> But I would love to know, because it seems like he's battle-ready. I mean, Berlanti, how does the suit factor in to season four? Well, I, I think we've, we've order, sort of always said that the, the progression for Oliver is, is very much from the arrow to green arrow. And this is the first real, real step in that direction. I think it's, uh, it expresses sort of who he's going to become more than necessarily who he's been on the series. So, Andrew, I mean, if you could sort of expand upon that, how does that play into the tone of the new season? Um, you know, I, I think, you know, the this, this show isn't going to suddenly become a, a, a comedy. Um, but, uh, you know, I think that there's a, um, you know, there's certainly at the end of that clip, you saw Oliver driving off into the sunset. So when, when the season starts, he's in a much better place. He's happy. He's in love. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that, that, that uh, you know, that, that, that feeling kind of infuses all the characters. And there's a little bit more fun this year, a little bit more uh, humor. But it still takes place on rooftops and still shooting arrows and still takes place in the rain. And Wendy, I mean, in the writer's room, what, what is getting you guys excited about that, that new sort of phase that Andrew is talking about? Um, well, we actually get to have Oliver make some jokes in the lair, which is a first for <laughs> <laughs> So that's really fun. And it's just, it's, it's been, as Greg was saying, part of, uh, you know, Oliver's evolution and part of the journey of his character to see him in love and see what it's like for him to be in a relationship and also be working with someone who's part of his superhero mission. Absolutely. Uh, it was announced the other day, Jeff, that uh, Damien Dark is going to be a part of the new season. Very exciting. What can you tell us about bringing in this new comic book character to the world of Arrow? Uh, I really started with, I think, a conversation with Mark about 
what, uh, what villains would come into Arrow, and there's a big one coming, I don't, another big one coming beyond Damien Dark, but Damien Dark's a, a villain from the Titans, and he's got a big crew behind him, but there's a lot of, in Arrow, there's a lot of characters coming up uh, that, that people won't, won't really guess that are going to come from the DC Universe that'll appear soon. Mark, do you want to add anything to that? <laughs> anything to... Uh, anything to talking about perhaps these new characters? Oh, that the new characters, well... You know, um, perhaps. We've got a few. We've got a gentleman who will be joining Damien. Um, Batman fans know him as Anarchy. <laughs> which we're really excited about. And, you know, one of the things that we like to do on Arrow is tell the secret origins of various characters. You know, you got to see how, you know, Roy Harper became Arsenal. You got to see how Laurel became the Black Canary. Thea became Speedy. Uh, this year, we want to introduce a new character to the, you know, Arrow, uh, you know, show. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Terrific. Ooh. <laughs> anything you anyone anything that you can tell us beyond the name coming into the world, writers? Uh, he's gonna uh, work with Felicity, uh, be a good friend of hers. Uh, we're often asked about when we're gonna add another LGBT character to the show, and uh, our version of Mr. Terrific happens to be gay. Uh, for anyone that cares about that kind of stuff. I love it. Uh, Mark was talking a little bit about sort of everyone's evolutions, and Katie, this was a huge year for you on the show. We saw her go from the darkest she's ever been to outfitted in some badass leather. I mean, what excited you about finally getting to put on that suit after three years? Everything. <laughs> I mean, Ooh, oh. whoa. The PA system is super excited about it, too. Yeah. Holy crap. So I got the, uh, yeah, everyone agrees, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, I'm really excited. I've obviously, I mean, you know, it, it's been, I feel like it's been a long time coming, but it absolutely was worth the wait, and I think it was great. You know, the, the way the writers took the character and, and the way they wrote for me was fantastic, and it just made it that much more legitimate and that much more realistic and made me that much more excited about it. Absolutely. Yeah. Speaking of things that were a long time coming, Willa, may I officially call you Speedy now? Uh, you may. <laughs> the first time I've ever seen a shot of me in the outfit, actually. It's right there. It's a good look. I'm, I'm staring at it, and I can't keep my ass <laughs> off of that. Um, why isn't it on my body right now? <laughs> uh, when they sort of came down that you would be getting in the suit for real, for good, what excited you about this next phase in Thea's life? Um, I, again, like Katie said, absolutely everything. Uh, but... Just being able to do justice to the origin story of a female character going from, you know, troubles to being lied to, to trying to grow up, get her stuff together, failing at it a little bit, then being lied to a bit more here and there, having her father come into her life, maybe think it's going to be okay, then it fails some more, and then, you know, she gets lied to again, and like, there's just like all of this stuff she goes through, but normally when you see that on television or film, it's usually a woman who doesn't really come back up from that, so it's been absolutely a beyond honor to play a strong female character who's come out the other side and is in some red clouded leather. Um, yeah, it's been absolutely the greatest thing that's ever happened in my life, and I had tears of joy when I tried on the outfit for the first time, guys. <laughs> that's my girl. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy's proud. <laughs> I think it's very understandable. You know, if we're talking about costumes, there was a moment towards the end of last season when I pretty much fell out of my chair, and I think that was when Felicity landed in the Adam suit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Did dang. not see it. Emily, what <laughs> was it like being in that suit? Uh, well, I'll tell you a little secret that's not so much a secret. I only wore the upper half of the suit. <laughs> it was actually Brandon's suit. I was wearing a lot of hockey pads underneath, <laughs> um, as well as a men's shorts leotard on an apple box. <laughs> and the turnaround shot... When Steven is smiling lovingly into my eyes, he's actually looking at a six foot four stunt man <laughs> named Mike, uh, named who Mike? is gorgeous. <laughs> but <laughs> he is. He's a handsome fellow. Um, but I, like, I was behind the screens going, 
and Oliver. And he's just like, oh, like right into Mike's eyes. And that, that was probably priceless for That's me. amazing. <laughs> um, wearing that suit was awesome. Brand, like he, B has a, he's got a lot of, not weight, I would say, but it's, it's, it's stiff. I mean, it's an awesome suit, but he's, I mean, he's got an attitude like I've never seen. That guy is always positive, and he's wearing that suit with that cowl. <laughs> <laughs> um, but super cool. I love it. Speaking of cowls, uh, John, are you going to be officially ditching the hoods for, like, long, lengthy robes now that you are Roz? I don't know, but I got the ring. <laughs> <laughs> um... It, I, I, I'm, I don't really know if I'll be ditching the, ro you know, the hood for the robes. It's, that's what I think is exciting about uh, being part of this show. And uh, these guys know, as do my, my fellow uh, uh, actors on the show, they know I don't like to know what's going to happen mm -hmm. too far ahead. I like to be surprised because I'm a big nerd and geek myself. And I get the scripts and go, oh, are you kidding? <laughs> it's totally awesome. So um, I'm not sure what's going to happen. You know, obviously I do know some things, but uh, we'll see. I, am I going to keep the hood or am I going to keep the, the, the long cape, you're gonna, the drapes? You're going to keep the long cape, but you're, you're going to get back into the hood for episode three. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So. And will I wear the, this is the thing, you know, will I wear the ring yeah, that's the... Just any so long I, as you're Ra's al Ghul, you can Thank wear you the wing. Much. <laughs> the badge of office. <laughs> I'm so I, glad I had this one made for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, I, I have totally to, did. <laughs> <laughs> you're never getting it back. <laughs> If we're uh, talking about ditching stuff, I know you guys go back to work like officially on Monday. David, are they going to make you... Uh, Shave, you got a little hiatus scruff happening. What's that about? Yeah, you guys like the scruff? I like the scruff. <laughs> hey, Emily. Emily, do you like the scruff? I like yeah. the scruff. I like the scruff. I'd say keep the scruff. He'll be shaving. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I thought. <laughs> I know, right? Old. That's the setup. Well, you know, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep the scruff because I don't know if it'll go well with my new helmet. <laughs> Check it out. Diggle has officially gotten a costume. Ew! Ow! Yeah. <laughs> it's called Black Driver. <laughs> Do you know what we heard Never today? Sorry old. to interrupt, but I have to say. Uh... Never gets old, Doug. Never gets old. Dolliver. 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 The bromance. Never before has a boy wanted more <laughs> than Dolliver. You will Mark, Mark what made this scruff. the right time to get Diggle in a uniform like that? Well, you know, one of the things that we started to feel last year, uh, and we've addressed this on the show, is Diggle's got a wife, he's got a daughter, and if he's going out there surrounded by people in masks and he's, you know, John Diggle, uh, it's not the greatest idea on his part. So I think <laughs> Oliver's advice uh, last year to, you know, dude, cover up your face a bit uh, was well taken. That and David said he would kill us if we didn't give him a costume. This year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did say that. <laughs> <laughs> so then everyone on the stage now, Felicity borrows hers. But Paul, I feel like we got to get you in some sort of... <laughs> Leather have, spandex number. I, I, I have this really nice suit. It's a, it's a gray suit, and I got a white shirt and a stripy tie this year. What about that for my outfit? Superhero stuff. Um, yeah, I'm still going to regular um, costume fittings myself, but, uh, you know, that's okay. Lance hasn't quite um, I have got a to superhero idea. status yet. I don't know if that's really <laughs> on the cards, uh, but we shall see. Yellow well, me, spandex. Well, let me ask, you know, there was sort of his loyalties to Oliver over the last season really changed a lot. He was opposed, now he's on. Do you officially consider yourself part of Team Arrow now? Well, I don't know if he would have officially ever considered himself part of Team Arrow, just for himself. Um, but uh, I don't know, it's sort of been, the last five months has obviously been Team Minus Arrow. And uh, Lance has uh, had to reconcile with this, uh, this idea of this new bunch walking around with just this kind of sulking leader. You just seem to be sulking a lot in this, uh, about this whole yeah. thing, don't you? I do sulk a lot, but I look good. 
He <laughs> does look good when he soaks. He kind of pouts a bit. As well, well, and the, the new outfit looks nice. It helps. Yeah. It helps. Hey, Paul, yeah. do you want to join the league? Say again? <laughs> I got a job for you in the league if you want one. <laughs> Would you mind? Thank you. Has he got a nice dare. outfit? I can borrow with it. Yeah, yeah I got a, good, I got a couple outfits in my closet. You can Daddy borrow <laughs> Thank you, darling. Daddy, I'm don't. there. Uh, so we're going to open it up to your questions in a minute. I think there's a line and a mic. But before I do, uh, Stephen and Emily, congratulations are in order. Elicity was crowned Ship of the Year, I believe, at the MTV Fandom Awards, which means you guys voted that for them. Uh, Stephen, what does it mean to have this partnership recognized so intensely by the fans that they voted it over every other relationship on television? <laughs> well, it means... It First of all, it means that we've been around for a while. You know, we're going into our fourth season, and in this day and age, that's, I mean, that's, that's rarefied air. It's, it, air. It's, it's not supernatural air, but it's <laughs> rarefied air, and um, there have been a ton of different elements that people have had the opportunity and the time to become passionate about. So the fact that so many of you uh, reached out and made this happen for Emily and myself and the show, it, it really does mean a lot. Like, not quite an Emmy, but it means a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what about for you, Emily? <laughs> what does it mean for me? Well, let me tell you. This, this is really cool. We're, we, are, we are going into our fourth season, and I've said this before, that passion feeds passion and getting to come here, which we do get to do every year in it also has started to unite us as well because it's always the start of our season. And coming into something like that, when you see the passion that you guys have fed into and you guys are the best fandom, I have to say. Yeah, absolutely. I, sometimes it's hard to articulate or respond because it seems a little estranged or distant and then we get here and this love is so apparent and we want to express, all of us want to express that we just love you guys too. And that's what we appreciate. We appreciate that you guys are having us. So thank you. I love it. All right, we, they have a jam-packed night here at Warner Brothers, but let's get a couple of questions in. Do we have one ready to go? Oh, it's over there. Ooh. Hi. 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 Hello. Are you periscoping? <laughs> nope, the picture is. I feel like you could be, no? Oh. What's your question? Oh. Uh, I actually was the first question on this panel last year, and Ooh. I asked Stephen Emil a question. I didn't like my answer, so I'm gonna ask it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's not so, a good setup to get a better answer, by the way. But okay. <laughs> it's been bothering me for a year, so I thought I'd ask it. You know what the definition of insanity is, right? Close to that. Okay. What's your question? Uh, well, I know Oliver Queen's super serious on the show, so is he going to become a little more silly, sarcastic, like the Green Arrow in the comics? I mean, I did just ask everyone to follow the Green Arrow, so I think that. We are going to move in a more green arrowy direction. In a more green if, direction. If you're here next year, by the way, He's... I'm going to be super mad. <laughs> you better be first in line. It's tradition now. Thanks a lot. Next question. I don't know if you remember me, but... Um... <laughs> you traveled all the way yeah, from you, the Emirates you, in the like last two days ago, 24 right? hours to come and see us, didn't you? Exactly. Yep, I remember you. Thank you so much. I do remember you. Uh, so... David Ramsey created a problem at Comic-Con. You have <laughs> sold out all the Green Lantern comic books because they say you're the next Lantern. Mm. And then, Oliver, are you going to be a billionaire again? <laughs> or are you still, you know? Uh, 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 <laughs> We're broke, okay? You can put it politely. Uh, That's well, a universal symbol you know. for broke. <laughs> yeah. Clearly. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go one better. I, I have a uh, sugar mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's right. He does. It's true. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Way too naturally. Hi. Um, I just want to say I love you guys and I love the show so much. My question, mainly for the actors, was there ever a scenario where you had to be your character in real life, even for a short time, just to, you know, conquer anything? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> anyone? Did we ever have, did anybody? Has anyone ever done I, I, I once, like, I once uh, um, got mad at a guy at a hockey game, and he started talking back to me, and some guy yelled out from behind, hey, that's the green arrow. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I looked at the guy and I was like, yeah, I am, I am. I am. <laughs> the first time ever Katie Lotz came over to my apartment in Vancouver, I was trying to figure out how, I couldn't find my Apple TV remote because it's like the size of this and looks like a spoon. So I was like looking around my kitchen like, where is it? And she's like, well, you know, you could just put it on your phone. I was like, yeah, of course I know that. <laughs> I knew that, and I had to pretend like I had it, and I was like, Felicity, get the fuck in here. <laughs> so. uh, uh, I love you. I think, we have, <laughs> I think we have time for one more question. Hey, man. Yeah. Team Arrow, Woo! you have definitely not failed this city. <laughs> So my question goes up to the panel for you guys. Um, what character dynamic relationship between all of you will be contrasted like in how heavy it would uh, like uh, hit each other within you guys like as in just relay as in like your own personality towards each other, I guess. What it, a trio. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I want to trick you guys. <laughs> Say Which, it again. Basically, Sorry, more concise. Okay. <laughs> Say Bas that again. You got basically, it. Basically, what's your main deal in your dynamic next season that we can look forward to and as in within each other's characters? Okay. Yeah. Right. All right. Yep. All right. Okay. I, I got that. Okay. I got that. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. We're getting closer. Is it? Is it more? <laughs> I, I know. My, I, I, is I it more family answer. oriented? Am I, am I shooting the bullet here on the reading the? I've read the first two episodes. Is it no. more of a family orientation? I'm kind of looking at you, but I don't really know if you know the answer. To be totally honest. I like when you look at me. I just love looking in your eyes, John. <laughs> I, would love, I would love to see uh, more of the sparring. Uh, if, if I'm just honest, I'd love to see more sparring between Malcolm and uh, oh, yeah. Felicity because some of the, to the stuff fan. that we got to do in the la you know, last season, it was quite fun to have that and to see her kind of stand up and you know, when she was giving the orders and Malcolm was going like, oh, Okay, I'll go and do that now. I also it was kind of cool. Strong female roles are totally awesome. They're and just yes, awesome. They are. We love the strong female roles. I know you girls Ladies. do. Ladies, you know. <laughs> there also, th we there's no it. one, there's no one on on the panel within the regulars of the series that are in any way being kept in the dark or or think that Oliver Queen is just Oliver Queen or that Finally. you know Sarah Lance is just Sarah Lance. So everyone knows everyone's business and that leads to I think some new interactions that we'll get this year like Malcolm and Felicity and like Laurel and Thea a little bit more and all of all of this good stuff. It's the new stuff in a fourth season is good. Mm. Nice. Well, I can't think of a better place to say thank you to Team Arrow for being here with us tonight. Thank Give you. it up for them guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much, so much. and everybody stay where you are. There's a lot more coming your way. <laughs>